So we looking at grew up with witnessing domestic violence. Uh, not only that, a lot of cops lose their life, and this is my profession is law enforcement. Then you got a lot of people that go back in a repetitive, a, re, a repetitive cycle with the DV. So it's just it's it's always ongoing. It's never an end to domestic violence. And I just got big on it because I see so much negative stuff and negative things happen because of DV. So I'm trying to figure out how we can spread more of a positive. How can you overcome it? How can you not? How can you see the red flags before you actually become a victim or something like that? Uh, how can you be a little bit more aware when responding to a domestic call? You know, if you're going to knock on the door and you get a response to a domestic call, first thing you should really do is listen before you go bulge and do it knocking on the door. You want to actually listen to see what's going on before you actually enter the door, stuff like that. Mm. All right. Well, somebody in the chat was over saying your purple cuffs actually uh, are there to bring awareness to people in regards mm -hmm. to violence. And I see those, I see those handcuffs almost in every video that you do, which is quite amazing. So you're, you're definitely uh, trying to raise awareness out to DV. 100%. And I do hear that, that connection in there. Uh, Gary, you got a question. I see you kind of moving towards them. Yeah. Yeah. How like, so I don't know what the, uh, protocol is between police departments, but like, is your, is your department cool with you doing d like these types of videos? Yeah. Like in back, like in uniform, like I don't. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, uh, let's get this. When I first started this and I, I was at maybe 30,000 followers when I uh, started TikTok and I was kind of getting bigger and larger. I got, I got suspended because of TikTok before. Cause no somebody could, yes, yeah, so I got suspended uh, years back. When somebody could read my badge and read what I worked for, my patch, mm -hmm. and it got me suspended. Um, mm -hmm. But since I've been in the, I've been doing this for 13 years, and throughout the years, they understand now. And I got new chiefs, I got new administrators, I got new people that's in uh, different positions that support it because they know I'm doing more things to try to help the community and break that bridge that we had we don't have with citizens out here in the world. 